I want to talk to you for a minute about the distributive property and look at some expressions that look similar to the distributive property but are not. So I've written over here 2 times the quantity 3 plus x. Okay, if somebody said apply the distributive property or multiply or simplify anything like that, this is what you would do. 2 times 3 plus 2 times x. So 2 times 3 plus 2 times x, and that would give us 6 plus 2x. So that's the answer to that problem if it says multiply or simplify whatever. Okay, here's an expression that might look similar, but it's really not. This is 2 times 3 times x instead of 2 times 3 plus x. So this is multiplication here times 2. You wouldn't apply the distributive property to this expression because multiplication does not distribute over multiplication. Multiplication distributes over addition and subtraction. So in this case, we would simply apply the associative property of multiplication to write this as 2 times 3 times x, which would be... 6x. So here the associative property of multiplication is the thing to apply if the instructions are simplify or multiply or whatever. So how about an expression that looks like this, 3x to the second power. Okay, in this expression and this expression, the 2's right here are exponents, whereas in these two expressions, the 2's are coefficients. This is multiplied by 2, this is raised to the second power. Well, it turns out that with multiplication, exponents do distribute over products. That is, I can write this as 3 to the second times x to the second, and so I'll get 9x squared for that product. Now, 3 plus x to the second power, if you haven't done multiplication with binomials yet, you probably haven't seen this, but I'll just tell you what it's not. This is not equal to 9 plus x squared. Exponents do not distribute over sums like this. Exponents will distribute over products, but they will not distribute over sums. Okay, so let's go back here and take a look at these expressions and just use the definition for each one to see if we can arrive at a similar result. So when I look at this, if I didn't know the distributive property, all I knew was multiplication, I know that multiplication means repeated addition. So that 2 times 3 plus x means 3 plus x plus 3 plus x. So I could simply add 3 and 3 and get 6, and then say 1x plus another x is going to be 2x. So when I do that, you see I get the same result as I do with applying the distributive property. So if I go back to my original definition, I get the same result. How about 2 times 3x? Well, it's going to mean the same thing. It's going to mean 3x plus 3x. Well, 3x plus 3x is going to be 6x. So when I add those two, I get 6x, which is the result I got before. Now, how about my definition for an exponent of 2? Well, an exponent of 2 means to multiply that expression times itself. So this is going to be 3x times 3x, which is different than 3x plus 3x. That'll be 6x, but 3x times 3x I can apply the associative property and commutative property, rearrange the terms, the grouping, and I'll end up with 3 times 3, which is 9, and x times x, which is x squared. So that ends up to be the same thing right there. How about if I apply my definition for this exponent to this ex expression? I'll get 3 plus x times 3 plus x. And if you've multiplied binomials before, you know how this turns out. If you haven't, you'll just have to wait and see to, when you get there how this turns out. But I'll just tell you the answer. If I multiply this binomial times this binomial, it means I multiply every term here times every term here. What I end up with is this, 9 plus 6x plus x squared. So not quite 9 plus x squared. There's that middle term, that 6x term right there that you can't forget. So 3 plus x times 3 plus x is 9 plus 6x plus x squared. So how do you get to the point where you recognize what to do when you see these expressions? You work a lot of problems. That's all you can do is just work a lot of problems so that you operate when you see an expression like this according to the distributive property. When you see this expression, you know that 2 times 3x is going to be 6x. Even if you don't show this step right here, this is like a description of how your mind works. When you see 3x to the second power, you might think 3x times 3x, or you might think 3 squared times x squared. Either way, you end up with 9x squared. 
And when you see this expression right here, this is probably one of the most common mistakes uh, students make in algebra when they're just starting out. You try not to write this as 9 plus x squared. Even if you don't know how it comes out, at least you want to know that it doesn't come out to be that. Okay, so the secret to all this is just to work a lot of problems. After you've worked a lot of problems, you will see that you start to operate according to the rules and definitions that we have in algebra.